Hi, I'm Jeremy Miller from DeGiro. Welcome to DeGiro Tech Labs, where we give you tips and tricks to set you up for success in the field. In this episode, we're gonna be going over the initial setup of the Gateway M6E6. Let's get started. Now that you've received your Gateway M6E6, we're gonna open up the box and go over some of the components and accessories that come with it. All right, setting our M6E6 to the side, we're gonna go over what's in the accessory box first. Inside the accessory box, you have the power cord, an SMA wrench, which will come in handy here in a second when we go to install the antennas, and rails for when you go to install it in a rack, along with the according screws. The main things you have to be concerned about on the back is obviously your power port, which is over here on the far left. Then you have your initial WAN and LAN, which are always set up one WAN, one LAN. And then you have your four port configurable switch on here, which you can configure in control. And then you have all of your antenna connections, including Wi-Fi and GPS. We'll go over how to install those shortly. First thing we're gonna do is plug in the power cord, get this ready to go. I'm going to plug in the power, get that ready to go, set it to the side. Next, we're going to take our SMA wrench. These come in very handy. I recommend handing on, hanging on to these so you don't lose these. Next, I'm going to grab some of the antennas and show you how to install those to the SMA connections on the back. All right, I've brought over a GPS antenna and I'm showing one of our LTE antennas and I will connect the other LTE antennas shortly. If you have any questions on which antennas to use with our gateway, we have an antenna guide that's available on our support hub. With the SMA connections, all we're gonna do, simply connect. Connect on the back. What I like to do is hand tighten first. Then I can use the SMA wrench to slide over the cable and then tighten further with the wrench. Once I've done with that single connection, I move on to my next connection. Grab the wrench. To finish it, release, then I'm going to grab the rest of the antennas and repeat this process. Now that all the LTE antennas are installed, I want to remind you that it's important to install the gateway or rack the unit wherever you're going to install it in the field or vehicle before you install the antennas. That includes the GPS and Wi-Fi antenna. If you want to install the WAN and LAN, once again, same thing. You want to make sure that your unit is racked before you do that. Now, all we have to do is apply power to the power source and power the unit on. Now that we have all the LTE antennas installed and the power, we're ready to power on the gateway. Simply press the power button. You can check the settings on the front panel of the gateway. And if you have any follow on questions, you're welcome to go to digero.com to get more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of DeGero Tech Labs.